How's it going guys and welcome back to the False Tech YouTube channel. So in this video I'm going to be discussing uh, everything 3D printing, at least from what I've learned. Uh, this is the Mono Price Select Mini version 2. Um, this little guy uh, can print some pretty high quality things and I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, basically this video is going to be me talking about this printer, what I've uh, learned from it, what I've gotten out of it as far as quality, and um, a few things that I think they that could be approved upon. If you, um, I'm also making this video for those who are thinking about getting one of these, so um, if you're thinking about getting one of these, watch this video and make the uh, make your make your own conclusions by the end of this video. So the first thing I will talk about is what all comes with the 3D printer. With the 3D printer, you get this printer. You get um, of course all of this right here. You get this arm, of course, uh, and you get a small reel of uh, filament. Very small, very minimal as far as um, how much you get with it, but this that's just to... So that's basically just to uh, do a test print. Um, pretty much, you need to buy your own filament in addition to this printer. So, I don't know if you guys can see this in, on the camera here, so I'll probably have a different shot for you, but this is the cat uh, that, came, that was programmed in the SD card with the printer. And I used the filament, and I pretty much used all of it with just this cat. I used the default settings, the default G code, um, but it came out very nice. And again, I'll show you that in a moment. So um, when you're getting this 3D printer, things to know: uh, you you need to get an extra reel of filament. Um, the one that comes with is very very small. It's just for basically printing out the cat to show you what you can get out of the printer. Um, you get a power adapter, AC adapter and you get a plastic scraper uh, as well as a 200 megabyte SD card. I want to say it's 200 megabytes, it's very small. Um, I think it is around that size. And another thing you need to know guys, when you buy this printer, you do get... It comes with a heated bed, which is nice, that is what you want to see. Uh, one thing that you'll notice really quickly when printing on this is the heated bed it comes with. Um, as you can see, that's plastic peeling up. It's not as high quality. Um, I mean, you are paying $189 for this printer, or at least that's how much we paid for it, was $189. Uh, but yeah, the bed is something you're gonna need to think about. You need to either replace it or have a backup plan. I have a glass bed that I'm gonna be putting on top of this to eliminate this little piece of plastic and eliminate any type of wear. There's also a plastic beds you can get that pill. Um, I saw those online. I'm not gonna be purchasing any of those because if it's anything like this, it will eventually wear down. Glass beds, to my knowledge, will not wear down, at least for a very long time. So I'm um, talking about pros. So this printer, you can print some really high quality things. You can print just about anything with this printer, um, given the the uh, size of the bed. The size of the bed is 120 by 120 by 120, I think. Um, I know this is 120, 120, but the Z-axis, I want to say it's 120 as well. Um, do your research before getting this printer. I'm just here to give you a few pros and cons about the printer. But yeah, the bed is pretty, pretty small. However, that doesn't mean that you can't print big, ob big objects in pieces, such as um, this object here that I've printed. Now, what this is, let me grab all the pieces so you can see them and how, how it looks. So this is this came in a four-piece option that you can print it out, out at. You can also print the whole thing. I did a four-piece option, and what this is, is this is a Google Home base. So how this works is the Google Home will sit on this right here. The wire will come out the back, and it'll come out through here. It'll go down, exit from here, and uh, let me just put it together so you guys can get a visual of what it will look like. And it will be wound here, and then go to the outlet. So this is what it will look like when it's fully done. It'll look just like this right here. Of course, I'm considering painting it. I don't know if I'm going to paint it just yet. But um, this is what it will look like in its final stage. And I think that looks really nice. It'll be uh, really cool to have that sitting here in my Google Home on a stand. So that's something that you can print. This took about... I'll say in total about eight hours to ten hours to print. So there were times where I would start the print, go to bed, wake up, the print will be done, take it off the bed, start another one, and so on. Now I wanted to also experiment with little trinkets such as this little um, galleon or pirate ship as some would call it. 
and the quality is very nice. Again, I don't know how this is picking up on camera, so I don't know how I'm going to show this, guys, but this is what it looks like. It's very high quality. I also printed this dinosaur, um, which came out very nice. This was a dinosaur for my son to play around with. And this was a, um, I think it was no infill, so it's uh, very, very fragile, fragile, but it's really strong. I'm, I'm squeezing it pretty hard and it's not caving in. This was a slug that I printed out. Um, it, it had printed it with joints, so I didn't have to do any type of uh, connecting. This is how it printed. All I did was remove the, uh, the skirt that was printed with it, and then there you go. The joints are printed in, so there was no putting together of this guy. Of course, you've already seen the cat, but the cat was my very first print, and it came out very nicely. As well as these cookie cutters, I have a uh, pot of gold cookie cutter, as well as a lucky, ch um, as well as a three-leaf clover for St. Patrick's Day. So there's a lot that you can do with this printer. For $189, I would say it's well worth your money. Now there's a few things you need to be weary of, um, and one of those things is that if you purchase this printer, the build the build quality is on par. I mean, it's, it's perfect. I can't complain. I haven't had any issues with this printer. But there is one thing you want to do, um, and you can find tutorials on this, but I'm going to turn the printer to the side so you guys can see that and what I'm talking about. So the printer, the problem with these printers is that this cable that feeds from the, uh, the board to the plate, it, in heavy use, or if you use it heavily, if you use it for quite a while, these cables are known to snap under pressure just by the sheer motion of going back and forth. Because it's zip tied, they will break. So um, I probably did about three prints on this guy, and I wanted to go ahead and get rid of that problem. So what I did was, I went on Thingiverse, which is where I got all of these from. I went on Thingiverse, found this cable feeder, or this cable rerouting um, print, I guess you'd say. And uh, I started printing these, so I got this here, and I basically rerouted the cable, because it normally goes down inside here. This is the normal back plate, and it's just a printer, and the cable going down. This is a mod, this, is, this will not be on your printer. So I printed out th these pieces, as well as this right here. This in total probably took around seven hours, if I count all of these small parts, as well as these bigger parts here. So it took about seven hours to print. When it comes to printing speed, I would rather print slow and have high quality results, and I'd rather take many, many hours than speeding it up. I could have sped every, all of these prints you've seen today, I could have sped them up and uh, had them printed within a, per a percentage of the time that they, they did take. But I'm all about quality over quantity. So basically I pulled this off, I pulled these cables out, I rerouted it, rerouted it through here and through the, through the side here. So that's going to make this printer last probably five to 10 times longer than the original ones. The original ones, the version twos that had this issue, they lasted for about a year. Um, now it depends on where you get it from, some already had this um, corrected, such as this printer, the cable was shielded. Uh, it wasn't like the um, ones that had the issue, but I went ahead and rerouted the cable just to make sure I wouldn't have this issue. So um, if you get a monoprice printer, select version 2, I would reroute it just to be safe, because the last thing I want hap to happen is you buy the printer, you use it maybe a year, and yeah, you may get your money's worth, but with this guy, with it, if it... If you leave it as is, there is a chance that it could break the cable, so I wanted to eliminate that chance altogether. So that's where this mod came from. Um, turning the camera, turning the uh, printer back around, um, I'm going to make a mod for this. I had one on here, but uh, the I think my my the, the swivel piece did not swivel, and I think that was my problem. So I I did it. I put it here, but it was, it was causing too much friction and it broke it, so I don't have a guide here, so I'm going to be printing out a guide here very soon. Uh, but, um, yeah guys, so, to recap this video, pros, price, 189. Uh, stars is about four and a half, four, four to five to four and a half stars online. So, um, highly, highly rated, it's, um, it's done very well for me. 
Um, very cheap, 189 like I said. Bed is uh, kind of small, so that can be a pro and con. If I'm going to be printing small parts, I don't really care. If I'm planning on pr printing a big piece, then you may not be able to do that with this printer. And one thing to know about 3D print printing, if you're getting into the hobby, is uh, you can customize it in any way, shape, or form to make it work for you. Such as this printer on Thingiverse, they have an extension that you can actually put on the base and raise it up 30 millimeters. So instead of it doing the 120, it can go up to 150. So there's tons of options you have. You can go with a cheap printer and mod it to the max and have it put out quality results that would normally be around $300 for a printer. Um, but I don't have any complaints besides this cable. Everything is bad. The bed and cable are my two cons of the printer. Everything else I've had no issues with. It's, it's been, I've printed quite a few. I'm going to be doing update videos to show you uh, more and to let you know if something does come up. But as of right now, I've been using, using this printer for about two weeks. I've had zero issues other than the bed starting to come up here, which I'll be fixing with a glass bed. Maybe I'll do a video on that. But guys, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this shares share some insight on this printer and on whether or not you want to purchase this printer. Thanks for watching. If you're not already, feel free to subscribe. Hit that share button and uh, hit that notification. Yeah, I'm going to be doing uh, updates through the, the community post as well as more videos. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.